So recently, Halo Infinite became available for pre-order across the world. And I gotta say that I'm thoroughly disappointed with what we're seeing. Because we have the Standard Edition, and then we also have the Collector's Edition. But there has not been any kind of word from 343, and no kind of word from any of the retailers on if we are getting a Legendary, or a Special Collector's Edition, or anything that's, you know, the top tier premium stuff that you're gonna want if you're a crazy Halo fan, and someone who's ridiculously excited for this game like me. Hello everyone, and welcome! I'm Kiv, your favourite degenerate, and today I want to cover everything that we know so far about Halo Infinite and a Legendary Edition for the game. Before anyone puts it in the comments, yes, I am aware that a Collector's Edition is available, but especially these days with Game Pass and people being able to get the full game on release from day one, it kind of makes you wonder, well, why would I even bother getting a collector's edition because this version of the game doesn't really have anything special releasing with it. I think that the Master Chief enamel pin and the steel book are the only two standouts in this version because for the rest of the content, after about two weeks of playing, all of those armor coatings and weapon coatings you'll have better versions of anyway. So something that I want to make very clear from the start of this video is that I have full, complete confidence that we are going to get a legendary edition of Halo Infinite for the Die Hard fans. Because it is Microsoft's golden egg. They are not just going to sit by and let that happen. They're not just going to say, oh, we'll give you a standard edition and one version that comes with a bunch of armor coatings and that's it. Now, is there a reason why we have not heard from 343 about all of this? Well, I think they've been trying to organize all of this stuff for a while now. I think that with these Legendary Editions, because there's just so many moving parts and a lot of stuff that they have to include into them to make them actually worthwhile, they have to organize a lot of stuff. Now, when you're organizing those things, especially these days, you want to make sure that you've got it widely available enough for the general public. Because you don't want to have a situation like Halo 4. I think the legendary edition for that game, they only had about 1,200 available for the entire world, or something ridiculous like that. Uh, I'm pretty sure basically no one was able to get them. I think a lot of people ended up just getting the tier below it because it was just wasn't available enough. There was just such high demand and not enough supply. Uh, and especially these days with scalpers and all of the bots that can buy this stuff up, you know, if they don't have enough to supply people, then there's going to be a huge freaking problem. <laughs> So I think that's what they've been doing in the background, and why we haven't seen one just yet. For this next part, I don't have any evidence or proof to back it up, it's just me thinking it through. But if I was 343 and I wanted to announce my Legendary Edition, I would wait until Flighting Round 2 has finished up and everyone has had a chance to sink their teeth into the game on proper PvP. That way, once everyone's hyped up and is ready to go and is really keen to see more of Halo Infinite, that's when I would reveal the Legendary Edition and say, Hey guys, you like that multiplayer? Awesome! Here's where you can get the special edition of Halo Infinite. And that's probably what's in their best interest, that way they get the most sales uh, out of the special versions. Another thing that I've noticed is that Halo Infinite statues have been on sale for a long time now. The reason why I think that's important is because Halo games over the past few titles have been giving us statues or figurines with the Legendary Edition. So it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense to sell these statues separately before the game has even come out. Like if you want to promote these statues, you would put it with the Legendary Edition and then for those people who don't get it, they can then buy them later on down the track after release. That just makes better business sense. But because we've seen these statues of Halo Infinite's Master Chief for quite some time now, I mean, there's even two different versions of the Master Chief statue available. I honestly believe that we won't get a statue with the Legendary Edition. I think that we will get something different. Because if you've bought the statue already, like I have, then <laughs> you'll look at it and say, well, there's no point in me getting the Legendary version now, is there? <laughs> 
So that could be a problem if they go down that way, but I honestly don't think they will, because it just, like I said, doesn't make business sense. So what could they put in the Legendary Edition to make it worthwhile? Because you can't just chuck a schematic of a Spartan armor in there and charge someone an extra 50 bucks. No one will get it. You have to make it something that has value. In Halo 4's Legendary Edition, they did include a copy of the Halo Encyclopedia. Like, the Encyclopedia was a thick book. <laughs> but uh, I think an updated version of that, covering news and information about the banished Hand of Atriox, all of the stuff that we're going to find out about in Halo Infinite, I'd love to go through that. I think that would be a great idea. The only other thing that sticks out to me is maybe including a Mark 7 helmet that people can wear, like a full-size Mark 7 helmet, because you've gone back to the classic Halo art style, and I think that with the updated visuals, a Mark 7 helmet would be awesome to have in with the Legendary Edition. But, uh, that's pretty much everything that comes to mind, for me at least. Uh, let me know what you all think in the comment section down below, because I'm sure a lot of you would be able to come up with some much better ideas than I ever could. If you did enjoy the video, make sure that you do subscribe, so that way I can hit 1k before Halo Infinite releases. And if you have subscribed already, tell your friends about me. Tell your dog. Tell your weird uncle who lives in a cabin. <laughs> Either way, let's try and make it happen, guys. But, uh, yeah. I've been Kiv, and I'll see you guys on the next one.